Good day. This video lesson will show you uh, how to select uh, correct boundaries on your velocity image uh, result from uh, seismic tomography. Seismic tomography is uh, quite over determined problem, so uh, it's not proper sometimes uh, to choose boundary uh, from the is line of maximum criterions. So I will show you my way how to uh, choose uh, correct boundaries in your uh, tomographic section. So uh, first of all, I have here some picked data. It's quite deep tomography to 200 meters and there is um, about 1,000 peaks, maybe more. So first of all, I'll do just simple inversion from the parameter software I suggest me at the beginning. Or just maybe three, four iterations. maybe enough we have here three or four layers I mean here is our cutted section of the race uh, and how supposedly to do uh, this bundering in the simple way, we just need to see where is maximum gradient. For a uh, plotting gradient map, we can use this is contour section mode. We can use these options, the velocity. This is shows full uh, gradient, model full gradient for this section so we can see maximum changing is happening changing is happening here and here so this is place maybe and um, this boundary should be or we should plot it here Let's get back to velocity and I'll show how to show is a line uh, control and copy it to Excel. We should press a uh, control K and click on any place on our section. You will see is a line and on the right side of this is a line is a number is velocity of this is right so it can be done anywhere so and uh, this is not only plotting but also putting this is a line to clipboard you can after that uh, copy to x so this control v and k combination of course uh, you can set this is a line here and for that, you should use option send boundaries and also this control key to press somewhere. And software suggests you use this boundary or not. So I choose use. Now I have it on my uh, section. This can be more than one. Have to, and you can choose some uh, settings for this is a line. This control shift. Now I will uh, remove this is a line. Of course, half of chair physics is uh, contouring and sometimes we need to. Um, make some zones and sections more contrast 
So in for this, we should use setup. And here you can choose some, uh, for example, we can we just a 10 is a line, so it's labels and it will show we can use just few RAM to plot on section. Okay, also we can change um, colors. Here is hypsogram of parameter and we can make more dense um, coloring changing in this zone or in this zone. We can add some additional colors. Of course, for 10 lines it will work not so good, but anyway. So this is how we can um, make our image more contrast. So now I'll back to original. For example, this another palette palette. So this is uh, how you can change your image but uh from my opinion it's not the best type of setting boundaries on the image so uh i because problem is very over determined i prefer uh, choose boundaries from uh, this model to plot it right on on my model, my top. So I combine tomographic model and this simple layered processing data. So I choose it. I need four layers. This will be the uh, last layer. Fifth. And now I will set up some geometry settings for this model. Used to, you can mark every peak in this model to correspond to some specified layer as it's doing plus minus method or T zero method. But here is a little another algorithm and it's much easier. So I choose user specified numbers of nodes and it's set and velocity uh, nodes in first layer. Now I can just process it. So it's calculated for four layers model, where is first layer my velocity can change along the line, and all another layers is just a constant velocity. Now I have this uh, boundaries, and I can, for example, set it a priori, so as, as boundaries, uh, and as arbitrary layer it model. So now I can plot it here, and this is will be. Oops, let me remove basic lines. But now I have um, this my lines, my boundaries. It's the which pretty good has pretty good fitting to my section, but it's a little different from as alliance I have. So this is what I prefer, how I prefer to plot. But this is not all. I can use this data uh, which I uh, receive from uh, model 
I can use it right here because here I can check uh, does my result uh, fit good because it was approximate solution here I have a model for full solution let me check how this model fits in my data if it fits good uh, I will just keep it the same way well it's okay of course I can do a couple of iteration for inversion of this arbitrary layered model but another way I just can copy this model to my mesh model tomographic model and use it as um, starting model for tomography let's see how it will looks like result with such start model I think it's enough. Now I can see my new uh, model, tomographic, this good starting model, which I get from layer it inversion. And here is my boundaries. They fit much better. This is very good correlation with either lines. And I think now I can do oh, sorry, I can do some cutting and this is what I wanted to show you and how to use these lines just remind you that you can uh, choose any graphic settings here and disables okay. another color so and also you can uh, some labels on this section. Okay, now after saving, it will be kept in your project in the same way. So this is uh, the way how uh, to plot better uh, as lines with boundaries. So thank you very much for your attention and bye-bye.